Hey everyone, Charles here at eTrailer, and today we're taking a look at the Malone Pilot roof-mounted bike rack on a 2022 Subaru Outback Wagon Wilderness. This is going to be a great way of transporting your bicycle, especially if you don't have a hitch or anything like that. It is a front wheel mount, which I like because I don't have to worry about damaging a carbon frame style bike or having to worry about a custom paint or any of the odd shaped style frames. We're going to have three attachment points holding the bike on the rack, a strap for each tire, and then the front wheel mount. It has a weight capacity of 33 pounds, just make sure to not exceed that. And the cradles do adjust left and right to accommodate those different wheelbase sizes. The cradles themselves have a thin groove to support your road bikes all the way up to your 5 inch fat tire bikes. Just keep in mind to not exceed that 33 pound weight limit. Um, to take the bike off, we are going to start with the straps, and these straps are extra long, which is why they included this knob to where you can just clean it up. But they are made out of rubber, so you don't have to worry about it damaging your roof when you flop it over on the other side like that. And I'm the only problem I had with this rack is actually getting high enough to tighten down the front wheel mount. So I recommend, you know, hopping in the door or getting a monkey step that we sell here at eTrailer just to make it easier of to load and unload your bike. But once you have the straps undone, keeping a hand on the frame so it doesn't fall after we unlock the core, we can just pull up and gently lower down that arm. I'm gonna go ahead and take a step off the vehicle and now grab the bike off. And just a quick note, since this arm does not support itself, it's a good idea to keep a towel or a shirt with you so you don't make full contact on your roof. But on our Outback Wagon Wilderness here, the only thing that's gonna make contact is this foam so we can get away with it as long as we're very cautious with it. We have these on our 51 inch crossbars here. And the way we have it mounted, since it's not on the overhang over here, we have about 35 inches of usable crossbar space. So plenty of room to add a couple more bikes or a rooftop cargo basket. So we have about two inches of clearance from the rooftop to the bottom of this knob here. And insulation was really simple. It's just a matter of screwing these in and making sure that the bar is straight as possible. Over here, we're gonna have about two inches of clearance from the roof to the bottom of this knob here. Insulation was really simple, just a little bit tedious having to line up the bolts with the, with the wing nuts here. But once you have that tightened down um, on the front and the rear, then you're set. So overall, this is a good economical bike rack to choose. You're gonna have some pretty cool features for that price range, like a locking core and the front wheel mounts. Um, again, the only problem I had with this is the height to close, to lock down the, uh, the wheel mount. If that's something that's gonna be a problem for you, check out any of the options with the the fork mount it's going to be a lot lower for you to load and unload your bikes but that's going to do it for our look on the malone pilot on a 2022 subaru outback wagon wilderness